Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Miracle Wet Dry Vacuum Cleaner. I did receive this product to showcase today, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this wet dry vac or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging right here. The model is F1, we have a couple of quick features for you. So strong suction, self-cleaning, self-propelled design, and enhanced edge cleaning. We'll rotate the box around. That information repeats on the other side. And now we're back to the front. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. Really quick, I wanna mention that you will also receive an additional brush roller. We do not have that sample on hand with our media kit, but you will get that with your retail version. So basically we have one brush roller installed, which you will as well, but you'll also have an additional brush roller to use as a replacement. Everything else you see, you will get, so just don't forget about that when you open up yours. You'll be pleasantly surprised to have an additional roller. So we have our user guide and manual as well as a quick start guide. This user manual is complete with their customer service and contact information. This is in multiple languages, walking you through care instructions, how to operate and use the product, all the different settings and features, very thorough and detailed. The quick start guide just has four simple tips for you for using your device. Next, you'll notice we have an accessory holder here for our charging station. There we go, it just slides right in and you can store your cleaning brush and your extra roller with your unit. The cleaning brush also has a little button here to release. We have a little blade and detangling tool for easy cleaning and then easy storage. We have our power supply and adapter here that plugs into the back of the unit, as you see right there, with our charging contacts. Next, you'll notice we have our handle with three buttons up at the top for us to control. We can adjust our mode setting here, power the unit on or off, and initiate our self-clean. Comfortable handle, nice black and silver gray color scheme here. Then lastly, we have the unit itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at this in more detail. Here's a look at the front of the unit. You'll notice their logo and branding up at the top, the dirty water tank in the middle, and our brush roller down at the bottom. Let's go ahead, let's sand it up, pop the dirty water tank out to reveal our filter here that's washable and replaceable as needed. You'll also notice that the cap removes, so you can easily dump out the contents of the dirty water tank. Rinse and clean as needed. You might catch some debris here or there. And then everything just goes right back in place like you see right here. And then it just snaps right back into the unit. Moving further down to the bottom, you'll see our brush roller with the edge cleaning design right here on one side. You'll notice the other side in typical style of a wet dry vac doesn't allow uh, that unit to get as close, but this one's gonna get you a lot closer to your baseboards, corners, things like that. This also easily pops out to reveal the inside for any additional cleaning or maintenance or to replace and swap out your brush roller. Let's look at it from the very bottom. Got our wheels, some additional wheels here, little squeegee scraper down at the bottom. Let's give you a nice side profile here with our lock and unlock button to remove our brush roller. Let's flip it over to the other side. Same thing, you'll notice on this side though, the dirty water tank does have a max water line for us. There's no lock or unlock on this side. And now we'll look at the very back of the unit we have some of our, looks like our voice control volume options right here. We have our clean water tank with a really clever design. Since this is so tall, it might not fit under your sink, but don't worry, you just pop this open so you fill it up horizontally as opposed to vertically. And then here's a look at the back with the tank removed. We have additional product info right there. And then same thing, the tank just gently snaps right back on and we can go back to the front, and the cover also just lines up, and then you just gently snap everything back in place. Now let's go ahead, let's get the handle installed. To install the handle, line everything up as shown, and then just gently press it into place. It'll snap right in, and now we have the handle successfully installed. You'll notice that it's connected. All of it is now one piece and we're ready to charge this up and try it out. So the unit's all set up. It's currently charging right now. You'll notice that we're at 57%. I also have the clean water tank filled up, so we're all set and ready to go to start cleaning.
sanitation solution has been prepared. Start cleaning. Wash roller cleaning. Let's take a look at the results of our first clean. We have the dirty water tank right here. No noticeable dirt or anything collected in the filter. But let's remove it, look at the other side, and you'll start to see some crumbs and debris right there on the screen. And a little bit of discoloration on the inside, as you would expect. And now let's go ahead, let's remove the rest of the cap. Oh, look at that, so gross. We got hairs and our Cheerio mess right there. So make sure that you really rinse this out thoroughly. Set that off to the side and you'll notice our floaters in there and everything else. So let's just dump out that dirty water. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And let's take a peek on the inside. You'll notice at the very bottom in there, we have some of our dirt, dust, things like that that's congregated at the bottom that we'll have to make sure that we wash out, which is why it's important to always rinse this after every use. Now let's see how the brush roller looks. So we have done a full self clean. Let's remove the cover, revealing some hair and fibers still on the cover with some moisture, as you would expect. So you're gonna want to occasionally rinse and wipe this off as well to keep it as clean as possible. But the brush roller itself, this looks super nice right here. Don't see any discoloration, leftover debris, or anything like that. And one little hair right here on the inside. I thought for sure we'd have more collection here of debris and content. So it's great to see that the self-cleaning does a nice job. Now, if you're wondering about any sort of drying capabilities, this is fairly dry, but it is still damp to the touch. So let's talk about performance. Typically, we look at a couple of key metrics and compare it between the rest of the product's lineup if the brand has any other wet dry backs. In this case, we don't have any other in-brand comparisons to make. We also compare it to the average of all the wet dry backs we've ever tested. So let's look at the data to see how it stacks up with the competition. First, we have our rated power measured in watts. Typically, the higher the better, but it doesn't always equate to being more powerful or giving you better suction, that sort of thing. In this case, the F1 shows up at 200 watts for rated power. That's going to be below the average tested of 224. Next, we'll look at decibels. The greater the number, the louder your unit's going to be. In this case, we have one of the lowest results we've ever tested at 66 decibels, whereas the average is typically about 10 decibels higher at 75.2. Now moving on to battery life measured in minutes. The F11 has a battery life of 35 minutes. That's not gonna be on the max mode and I definitely recommend with this particular wet dry vac that you will want to use it in max mode to make sure you're actually getting a nice deep clean and that will keep the brush roller wetter than just the regular mode. So when you're using this, expect lower results than that, but it really depends on how you're using it. And this matches perfectly with the average tested of 35 minutes. Clean water tank is measured in milliliters, and this is an important metric for us because the smaller your tank is, the lower the value, the more times you're gonna have to go stop your clean and refill. The F1 has a 750 milliliter clean water tank. In my opinion, that's good enough, even though it's slightly below average. Dirty water tank also measured in milliliters. It's good to see this match or come close to your clean water tank capacity. That only makes sense. But for me, this metric doesn't matter as much personally because after every clean, whether you clean for one minute or 10 minutes or 30 minutes, you will have to empty the dirty water tank to clean it out and prevent any odor. So we have a 720 20 milliliter dirty water tank that is going to be above average by about 100 milliliters. And lastly, this might be the most important metric for you, cost. The F1 comes in very competitive for how its build quality is and for how well it performs compared to all tested units. You'll be about $100 or so less than the competition out there. And I would argue with the build quality for this particular unit, it doesn't feel like your cheap, you know, entry level budget wet dry vacs. They did a really nice job and it feels great. It feels like you're using a Tyneco or a Dreamy wet dry vac, even though you're not paying that premium for it. Sure, maybe you're not getting all the advanced features like heated dry or the ability to have like a double dual side cleaning option, but we still get one side cleaning option with this wet dry vac. So again, they're taking some of the better features and giving it to you at 
a much more competitive price. So now let me share with you my final thoughts from my experience using the F1. This is the first budget-friendly wet-dry vacuum that doesn't feel like it's cheap. I've really enjoyed using it. Honestly, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't have been able to tell you if it wasn't a Tyneco or a Dreamy wet-dry vac. If you look at it, it follows a very similar design aesthetic and the tanks aren't cheap either. They don't feel like the cheaper quality tanks you'll get on some of the low-end wet-dry vacs. This one even gives us one side for side cleaning. So that's really nice that we're seeing that feature here on this unit. Usually that's reserved for units that cost a couple hundred bucks more. Now, I think the biggest downfall to this particular unit is when you're just using it on the regular cleaning setting, it doesn't get the brush roller wet enough in my opinion. You can kind of work around that by maybe doing a self clean first to get that nice and wet. But typically what I found is it just works best to use the max setting. That's gonna get your floors, I'll say nice and wet, wet enough to give you a really nice and even clean. So I like to use this with the max setting, but that is gonna deplete your battery very quickly. So just keep that in mind. Most likely you'll be wanting to use it on that setting as well. But overall for the price that you're paying, this has a lot of great features. Sure there's stuff I'd want to see in the future, LED lights, double side cleaning for the brush, maybe a heated dry, things like that. But that just continues to increase the price point. So we'll just have to wait a couple of months, couple of years till new versions come out and that technology continues to trickle down.